The scholarships were awarded through the Namibian Youth for Green Hydrogen Y4GH scholarship program. This program was designed to ensure an output of trained Namibians who are fit for the Green Hydrogen Energy Project. Of the scholarships awarded, 49 are for master's studies, while 21 are for technical and vocational education training. Now, they are currently studying uh, in local tertiary institutions, both at master's level and also at uh, TVET uh, uh, institutions in, in our country. Now, 49 of them are pursuing master's level training, uh, 24 of them at, 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 at UNAM, and 25 of them at NAST. Uh, 21 of these uh, awardees or beneficiaries are at our TVET uh, centers across the country. Uh, the, the beauty of this project is that it is not a one-year thing. During that time, because they will be monitored closely, it is important that proper negotiations as, as to where they will end up and so on will be mapped out during their training. The German government has made available about $87 million towards the Green Hydrogen Scholarships for the Namibian youth. Out of, the, uh, uh, of, of, the, uh, of this partnership, 5 million euros, about 100 million Namibian dollars roughly, it was set aside for the Namibian Youth for Green Hydrogen Scholarships program. Um, and this is fully funded by the German uh, uh, Ministry of Education and Research, which is called BMBF. Um, and this is a five-year program. The first intake of scholarships closed in May. The second intake is expected to resume next month. This morning, as I sit here, I'm actually launching the second campaign that will lead to the um, uh, selection and the awarding uh, of those who will form the second group of beneficiaries under the Namibia Youth for Green Hydrogen uh, Scholarships. The, the second campaign that we are launching today, let me say this, that in a few days' time, teams will be getting out to the regions, the 14 regions of our country. And this is important because we want to see regional representation in those that will be funded other under the Namibian Youth for uh, Green Hydrogen. <clears throat> As they go out, these teams will be engaging governors, will be engaging community leaders, will be engaging the youth and students who are potential uh, as well as eligible um, you know, candidates for, for these scholarships. And um, the, the month of July, uh, August is actually set aside uh, to be the month when the actual uh, campaign or the actual application will be open. The Southern African Science Service Center for Climate Change and Adaptive Land Management, SASCAL, was appointed as implementing agency for the scholarships. really want to keep it uh, a bit separate from our normal, usual NASFAF kind of scholarship. So SASCAL is clearly looking at managing this particular uh, program. Why? Because they have... Um, experience, long-standing experience in doing this uh, with um, um, the German government as well as other governments in the world. And since it is the first time for us as a country, uh, it was felt that it is important that they come on. The minister encouraged those who are interested to apply.